Hey everyone, this is C-Rex and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be playing Sonic Adventure. Oh. Um, well, Sonic Adventure, I mean Sonic Adventure DX, but it's been modded. I've got a be better SADX installed and I've also got this Dreamcast mod installed that replaces some of the characters with the Dreamcast models. Um, quite, it's quite a good mod. It certainly does a lot in terms of graphics because it like replaces the um, game's lighting with the uh, Dreamcast version which is considered superior by many people. So yeah, let's get going. Um, I obviously want to create a new save for this. Um, so yeah, I think before we get started I think I'll do a few adjustments. I'll keep the voice on, get to the text because it's a bit unnecessary. <clears throat> I've been debating whether or not to put it in Japanese because the Japanese um, might be a bit more tolerable for people who are not too big of a fan, fan of the English voice acting. But I think I'll just leave it for now. So yeah, let's get let's get going. Yeah, if I, yeah well, here we go. So yeah, you, you'll better yeah you can clearly see that Sonic's using his Dreamcast model. Um, I'm also I'm also just using it for terms of nostalgia and stuff because I played the original game on Dreamcast many years ago. So here we've got the opening cutscene here. Um, some very low poly people. <laughs> so this is the opening cutscene to the game. It reveals part of the story as well. First thing we do is shoot. If the weapons are useless, why are they still firing at you? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of um, funny facial expressions in this game. With Sonic and... Well, Sonic's got the funniest, I think. The way the model model is. So yeah, we got the first boss here. It's quite unusual in a Sonic game to start off with a boss battle. To be fair, I had to cut the. I was going to say a bit more during the um, before I started the game, but uh, the uh, the title screen. If you don't press any buttons on your controller for a while, the game decides to go into some kind of video mode that shows you clips from the game and stuff. So I'm just going to talk over the gameplay and stuff. But you notice it's fairly simple. Just introduces you to Chaos, he's the main antagonist of the game. Well, Dr. Eggman is to be fair, but Chaos is like the, fa uh, the final... Well, I'm not going to reveal anything, but Chaos is the one who causes all the destruction and stuff.
I admit Sonic just looks wrong with peach coloured eyebrow uh, eyelids. I'm pretty sure the blue in the in the SA uh, the Sonic Adventure DX version. I think the like skin coloured in this. <clears throat> Sonic's overall skin tone's a bit lighter as well. I don't know why they made it. They made him a bit darker in the um, <clears throat> in the re uh, not the remake, the Adventure DX for some reason. I don't know why. So you've got the first level here, Emerald Coast. Let's speak to this. Oops. Yeah. A lot of people um, refer to this game as a well, uh, this game and its sequel as masterpieces, and I have to argue against that a bit. I mean, they're both pretty good games. It's just that they've got a lot of flaws to them. They're very there's a few glitches and stuff. The camera isn't the best, and the storyline and the voice acting is a bit well. The voice acting especially is quite corny, and it's like the, well, it was the first Sonic game to feature voice acting. I think it did it decent, I suppose. Did it pretty good. I mean, it's definitely about a hundred times better than Bubsy 3D's voice acting. I've never actually played that game, by the way. I don't think I want to, from what I've seen. But yeah, there's a lot of differences in the Adventure DX in the DX version and the original Sonic Adventure. Apparently they got rid of lots of features in the Adventure DX version. Good examples the water effects um, in Mystic Ruins. Oh, and on this part, apparently the water animates a lot better in this version, the Dreamcast version, than it does in the um, GameCube version, Adventure DX. I'm just going to refer to them as. Well, no, it's, it was only, well, it only released on GameCube. I'll just refer to it as DX. <laughs> Yeah, the original one's the one I first played way back in 2002 on my, well, it my Dreamcast, it was family members, they let me borrow it. <clears throat> I just qu quite enjoyed it. I especially love the Chow Garden feature, that was probably my favourite. Because it came with a little VMU as well, a little, I forgot what it, virtual mobile unit I believe it's called, where you could like take your Chow off with you and look after it like a Tamagotchi thing and that was quite neat I remember taking it everywhere with me and it was pretty good I kind of missed that in the um, DX version uh, the Tiny Chow Garden was okay it was just a bit, it were, I don't think it was as fun, it had more of like a story like a, st sort of like a, a story element to it the um, VMU one you could like bump into Bully Chow and stuff and you'd have to fight them and you could get rare items and stuff on your Chow's adventure and stuff like that, and that's pretty good. As Tiny Chow Garden is just a representation of your Chow, which vaguely looks like what your Chow is, if depending on what kind of Chow it is, and that's just about it. It's just like you can put feed it, and it can play with stuff, and that's about it really. You can play games to win rings, but. It's still, I don't think it's as good as the VMU one. But anyway, let me finish the level now. Yeah, not bad. Hey Sonic! Long time no see, huh? I'm just glad you're okay. What happened anyway? You're too good of a pilot to just crash like that. That was a test run using a new prototype propulsion system. It's got a few bugs to iron out. Why not just use my plane, the Tornado? Thanks, but you gotta check out my newest power supply. Ta-da! Whoa! A Chaos Emerald! Yep, I just happened to find one of the seven emeralds during one of my test flights. This thing's got unlimited power, you know. So I figured, why not use it to power my plane? Supercharged! You gotta 
to come over to my workshop, Sonic. I've got something I've got to show you. It's in the Mystic Ruin, the fastest way is by train. Let's go! So yeah, that's Tails, as you've probably seen. <laughs> so yeah, we've got to go to the Mystic, uh, Mystic Ruins now. There's three, um, we've got adventure stages in this game. Uh, not adventure fields, sorry. Which are basically just open world stages with like sub stages, which are like Emerald Coast, which I've just played and stuff. And they kind of what Sonic Adventure, no, Sonic 06 had, but executed in a much better way. Yeah, I've just seen them and see if there's anything there, but there isn't. There is a few tails though, there's like a little power up you can get. <clears throat> the train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Kind of a shame, really, that they got rid of the adventure fields in um, in Sonic Adventure 2. But I suppose they would have been a bit annoying, really. Because in the, what you, in the existing game, you just select them from the screen and put in adventure fields in and make things a bit take a bit longer but you can still select them from a screen but anyway <laughs> if it isn't sonic look it's a giant talking egg Finally. i am dr robotnik the greatest scientific genius in the world whatever you say eggman enough i've got big plans and now i'm gonna put them to work you're always up to no good now what do you want? I want all of the chaos that rules. Better not interfere. Or else. Or else what, you big loser? Or else I'll take them from you by force. The hard way. So here's our second boss, Egg Hornet. And it's pretty simple. They're all they're pre all pretty simple. The bosses in this game, although the second one, I'm mean, not the second one. The some of the final ones get a bit difficult. Well, you're saying that even the final one isn't that difficult, but anyway, pretty difficult if you were new to the game. But I've played it countless times, so. There's also a funny glitch you can do on this where if you like defeat Eggman and then jump into him with no rings, you actually during the uh, victory cutscene you actually do the dying animation and it restarts. It's pretty funny, but I'm not going to do it on this. It's just so easy. This. Yeah, that's one of the thing I've, I've noticed. A lot of the older Sonic games are e well. 3D Sonic games are easier than the newer ones. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Every time I feed him a Chaos Emerald. With all seven emeralds in him, he'll be invincible. 
possible and work for me. Together, we'll destroy Station Square. And on its ruins, I'll build Robotnik Land, the ultimate city, where I will rule it all. Come on, Chaos. Let's find another emerald, shall we? So yeah, second boss battle finished. We need to go to the final, and that's the second action stage. I don't know what's with me today. I've actually just moved into an, into my uh, dorm room for uni, so things have been a bit hectic. So yeah, we got to take this to this little little shrine thing and. Windy Valley now. So he's actually he's quite a good stage. I love the music to it. In fact, all the music in this game is good. The thing about Sonic games, even if the gameplay might be a bit iffy, the music's always good. jump into this tornado now. <laughs> Head straight up. You should be able to get out of the tornado. Because that really works, doesn't it? <laughs> Probably gonna put an end to this episode after I finished this. Oops. <laughs> that wasn't meant to happen. Right, let's get back up. The camera's gonna be wonky. There we go. I think this is one I think this is the more famous part of the level. Part of the stage I mean. Because I believe the music the stage music was used in a certain YouTuber's channel intro. So I'm not gonna mention the name of the YouTuber, but if you know who it is, just leave it in the comments. <laughs> just makes me laugh thinking about it. If you know Sonic a lot and stuff, you'll definitely know who I'm referring to. Yeah, the staff found. I think the stages in this game are a lot shorter than the ones in the se second. Cause some of those just go on forever, like the like Sonic and Shadow's final, uh, later stages, which, is a, which I think they're a bit drawn out, to be honest. Yeah, it might seem a bit strange I'm playing a Sonic game, to be fair. I just thought I'd do something different. I might play Sea Tycoon 2 at some point. I don't think I'm going to be going back to the first one because the Zero made was a bit of a financial disaster, so I think I might be sticking to a different games from now on. So, yeah, that's the second stage complete. Second, our second emblem. And I'm probably going to bring the episode to an end now. Um, hope everyone's enjoyed it. I'll probably uh, have another one up tomorrow, maybe, or even later in the week or something. I'm also planning on doing a sort of a sort of video giving a, a tour of my new uh, dorm room at uni because I did actually I've actually been here before, but I didn't do one last year, so I thought I might as well do another do one this year. So yeah, like I said, I hope everyone's enjoyed this. If you've got any suggestions, feedback or anything you want to share, just leave it in the comment section. And yeah, hope everyone's enjoyed this. I'll see you all soon.